First step to making a good ballet bun is brush out your hair, get a good brush. Then you want to wet it. So you can just wet your hands, run them through your hair. Um, you can also take gel, not spray gel, but the kind in a bottle because it goes on nice and thick. You want to rub it on your hands, wet it, and then just run that all through the top of your hair. As you're running it through, you can gather it up um, using the brush to smooth it back. The angle that you want is that the hair goes up from the ears to the crown of the head. So you want to try to have the line of the hair from the ears going up, not straight back. So if you picture your head like a square, it would be on the back point. Um, get a nice thick elastic and get it turned around as many times as you can. So it's nice and then pull it tight. Once you've done that, you can add more water and more gel to keep the little pieces of hair in place. And a dancer trick is to take a brush that is lots of thick bristles and you can smooth it back because it actually smooths out any lumps smooth it right back to the ponytail all the way around so that any lumps get pushed up next to the elastic and end up being covered by the bun. If the hair is short or there's lots of wispy pieces, you can also hairspray it before you do the bun, just all over to make sure that all those pieces stick underneath the bun and stay secure. Then you want to take the hair, start twisting it. You'll notice it'll kind of turn around itself your best bet is to hold it down with one hand as you wind it with the other. What you don't want to do is wind it so tightly it sticks far out from the head. You want to wind it looser so it can stay flat to the head. Then take a hairnet, try to find a color that'll match the dancer's hair. Put it over. Um, they're usually big, so you're going to wind it around a few times. You can pull it and twist it. Put it back and forth as many times and then take the excess and tuck it underneath. That holds the bun secure. You can wind it up, you can massage it out, and you can place it right in the center of their head over any lumps or wispy pieces that have come back. Then you want to take hairpins, not bobby pins. These are the ones that are open. These are the nice big thick ones for people with long or thicker hair. You can buy them at a dance store or at um, Sally's Hair Supply has them. And you want to place them all the way around the bun. You grab the end of the hairnet, pull it out, and then tuck it under. If you feel it poke in through the elastic, that's even better. It'll hold it really secure. So you wind it edge, grab the hair, and fasten it down. You want the bent, if the hairpin is bent, you want the bent part towards the head so it lies flat with the head uh, roundness of the head. If you don't have really long hair, you can go for a smaller hairpin. You can get them at Walmart or anywhere else. Those work just as well. Um, same technique all the way around to hold the bun securely. When you're done, get them to cover their eyes. Lots of hairspray, smoothing back again all those wispy pieces. If there are bangs or any pieces of hair that are too short to fit, you'll want to take a bobby pin. These are the ones that are closed. You can bend them so they too won't stick out from the head, but lie with the direction of the head. And you can use any of those little pieces um, and slide them in. So you want to bend the bobby pin so it goes around with the head and pull them in. If there's any very stubborn pieces, you can also crisscross your bobby pins. So put one in and then you can put one crisscross it against the other one because it'll hold the hair securely. If there are bangs, you want to brush them straight back and bobby pin them as well. Try to find hair pins and bobby pins in the color of your hair so it's not seen. And there's your ballet bun.